I'm here with Val Allman, winner of the women's discus throw. Val, tell me about this competition, what you were trying to achieve here. Obviously a very strong field, a field likely that we're going to see pretty much most of those people again. What were your goals going into this competition and tell me tell me if you feel like you met those goals. Okay, yeah, this competition, um, it was really exciting. I uh, I was so excited to be here at Hayward again and you know, especially in 2024, this is a place where like I want that magic to happen knowing that our Olympic trials will be here in a month. Um, so for me, a lot of it was kind of just getting back in the stadium, feeling comfortable, knowing that I can show up and I can execute. Um, the competition, it was kind of one of my rougher ones this season, a bit like up and down trying to find my technique, but I stayed in the fight and I feel proud of that. The competitors this year are strong and, and everyone is going to all of these big competitions. So to see each other so much this season, it's really intensifying the battles um, and going to make for a really great and exciting second part of the year. The last time you went to the Olympic Games, it turned out pretty well. What do you think it's going to take to be able to replicate that type of a performance and that type of an effort uh, in Paris this summer? Yeah, you know, in some ways I feel like I'm getting ready to compete at my first Olympics with just how different my life feels, how different the world is going into this summer in 2024. Um, I think at the end of the day, I know that I'm my own biggest competitor and I'm just going to continue to try to push myself and show up um, and really leave a performance I'm proud of. And um, I know it's going to take that 70 meter type throw to walk away with gold. So I'm doing everything I can to, to be at that level. So in the training, as you have kind of, you know what that barrier might look like in order to achieve the goals you want to achieve. How are you framing your training? What are you doing in training so that when that moment comes, you're able to deliver on what you know it might take? Yeah, you know, this is where I feel so incredibly fortunate to have a coach um, that I trust completely. And I know that Zeb is doing everything he can to prepare me mentally and physically, that just if I keep trusting him, we're gonna, we're gonna be in a good spot. Last question, it seems like you have a lot of fans at Hayward Field. Every time I look at you, you're doing a victory lap and it's, it's, it takes longer each time. What, what, is, what is Hayward Field to you? Oh gosh, it's hard to put into words. You know, I feel like I'm here with like 20,000 of my friends, you know, these people they've been, I'm so grateful that they've been following my journey since I was here as a, a world junior American, you know, and that was 10 years ago. So to have people that love track and field, that have been following along on the highs of my journey, the lows, that's what creates like people that really make this sport so exciting and so meaningful for the athletes. So it was, it was really special today. I feel like the crowd was so into it and I'm counting down until I get to be back here. Thank you so much. Congratulations.